Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I'm going to be using Pink Paisley's Take Me Away 12 by 12 paper pad for this layout and I also do use some of the chipboard that I purchased that goes with this collection. Now first off I pulled out several papers that I thought I might like to use. One of them, the one with all those different pattern stripes on them, I flipped it over and used the white side for my background and then some of the other ones I fussy cut out some flowers and I did take a couple of strips. And what I'm going to do with these strips is I am just going to hand cut some scallops and they're just going to be all wonky and all over the place. On that pattern paper right there I just wanted the white part on this one, I just use a teeny tiny strip that I use pretty much straight. I don't um, make that one in two scallops. So right here, I go ahead and start doing the scallops. And I just do them all by hand. I am going to cut away and then they will all be done. So I do put those on either side of the layout and then I stitch on them, um, machine stitch on them. So here it is. I am trying to figure out how I want them to be. There is that white piece right there I took out of the center of that one page that I said I just wanted the white on. I am using some Scotch quick dry adhesive to hold those down. <laughs> My hair is on the way, did you see that? This, it, it reminds me of something. My husband and I went to dinner tonight and my hair's kind of long and I will like twirl it between my fingers and he says you know what that really annoys me when you do that hold on a minute right there I'm inking the edges and I am using I'm going to show it to you it is um Rangers archive in T rows I think anyways he says you know it annoys me when you twist your hair really that annoys you that I twist my hair? That is the funniest thing I'd ever heard. And we were doing this thing where every time the waitress would come over, I'd ask her a question. And <laughs> she came over and I'm like, so has there been any drama around here lately? Because there used to be a guy, we live on the coast, and there used to be a guy that lived in a boat outside of this restaurant and he was always running around naked and so my first question was what happened to the naked guy and she was saying that when the new owners took over they kind of evicted him and told him he needs to put his boat somewhere else and anyways that's how the question started <laughs> so I was asking her if there had been any drama around there lately or whatever and she says yes as a matter of fact last night there was a husband and wife in here on their anniversary dinner and he got up and went to the restroom and the guy's phone was blowing off, blowing up. So the wife picked it up and looked at it. He had been having an affair. Oh my word. Apparently the whole place just shut down because she was just like in hysterics wanting to kill him or whatever. I said, was there a murder committed? She said, nope. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you know what, Jim? <laughs> I might have stabbed you with a knife. We are on our anniversary dinner and I found that stuff out. But Anywho, I don't know what started that. Oh, the hair started that because I was talking about twirling my hair and my husband, it, it annoyed him. So anyway, I am putting down those, border, those borders. Um, they're all wonky scallops. And then I do, over on the left side, I do throw down some straight strips semi-straight strips just for the fun of it I guess you can see that one it kind of goes in a little bit it's thinner at the top than it is at the bottom I'm not sure why I did that right here I'm showing you here's my fine line bottle and my thread I'm going to go away glue this down and stitch it and I will be back and here I am so here is the stitching that I did on this layout I really like how those fussy cut leaves came out. These are really nice. I like how they kind of stick up a little bit. They're pretty cool. All right. So now that is the base of my layout. I am going to put some layers under my photo. I am going to use 
quite a bit of vellum under that photo. See where I used that scallop? There was an extra scallop strip and I put it under there. I did put a layer of vellum over it. It is right there to kind of tone it down a little bit. And on either side of the photo, I use vellum as well and on top. The top and the left side have scalloped. The vellum, I made it scalloped. Right here, I'm gluing down some more of those leaves. I love how these leaves came out. They are kind of a pain to fussy cut, but they are so pretty and it has such a fabulous effect. I love it. So here's where I'm putting down those top scallops in the side scallops if I don't know if you saw that right there I went ahead and stitched them together with my machine and then so they would I don't know be together I guess and then put them on to my page from there so I'm sticking down some more fussy cut flowers in my previous video or I don't know where this is gonna fall in the line one of my previous videos you'd seen I had had a four by six iris case that was full of flowers I took two of different pattern papers that were in that 12 by 12 patterned paper pad and just sat there and fussy cut all the flowers and leaves out one night so I am still putting all the leaves and flowers around I am going to pull out the chipboard stickers that go with this I got two packs of those because there was a carousel horse that I wanted so I went ahead and got two packs because I wanted two of those carousel horses so <laughs> I do have plenty of chipboard to use right here I didn't really know what to name this so I went ahead and took one of the words off of that sheet and it just says awesome this is a picture of my best friend Becky's well actually she's in the picture her and Ashley's stepdad and they are walking her down there to get married which is amazing because when I met Becky my son was nine months old and Ashley was three months old they are now 23 <laughs> well Ashley will be 23 soon but yeah and so it's been a while I cannot believe she is already getting married or already got married actually I guess so right here I put down some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold and that is all I do to the layout. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye guys.